Konnichiwa YouTubers, this is Red Talk straight from Point Magoo, California. And today we're going to do a video review of Transformers Armada Blur. Let's take a look at the package. Pretty nondescript. Yeah, there it is, Blur. Transformers Armada. R.I.D. Robots in Disguise. Here's the back. I do like this uh, guy. I'm not gonna lie, it has a neat form. I already did a review on Demolisher, Sideways, ooh cool, and Optimus Prime, weird looking Armada figure, hey, it is what it is, package does come with a nice slow sticker, this is Armada, instruction sheet, <laughs> and I know you all seen this before, a little comic book, so, Galvatron, or, yeah, Jetfire, here's a product catalog. I've seen this before if I remember it. Remember the commemorative editions? Not bad. So yeah, you get to see that. Oh hey. Let's see what I have. It's a little different. I think this is the second wave. We got thrust in here and night beat. Overrun. Oh, that's Optimus Prime. There's blur with incinerator. Scavenger, which I had a long time ago. Galvatron, I, I like the way he looks. He's just a recolor. Same thing with Thundercracker. So there's Armada. Big old jet fire. Cool. That's neat. Let's look the figure. I, I like I like this car. I really do. It looks it just looks great. Even though it has gaps in the back, that's for the Minicon actually. You can definitely tell that there's uh, his feet are in here. But other than that, I like the painting. I like the molding. It looks good. Light pipe even though you can see the robot head right there. Clear. Yeah, it has its flaws. But it looks so sleek. It's like a futuristic Bugatti Veyron type, you know, looking thing. It's molded so well. I like the paint. The silver it's not silver it's kind of a gray but i like the the paint touches right here i don't know if the overspray was supposed to be you know, it's just supposed to be that way i don't know if that's a quality control issue but it works well yeah it rolls it really has but it has these little launchers as well and that's where the mini con comes in yeah here's a mini con incinerator and once you thrust the Minicon right here in his little rear end, yeah, it pops out. So yeah, the sides just pop out. Bam. Neat. And right now, and this is one, one of my complaints is that it doesn't really tap very well. Minicon also fires the missile. Uh, and it does it doesn't tab too well as I mentioned before but as you can see <laughs> I'll just show you off the car here so it doesn't uh, push the minicon right here push it forward and the missile fires really neat so that's it for features I like this because it kind of makes it look like a alternate uh, a third mode like a jet mode for that but really it is what it is I like this mode 8 out of 10 transformation and I want to keep it like that is simple it's really simple for this I like the paint apps too great paint apps just pull the legs out flip the feet out there's also heel spurs which is great because this thing has a humongous backpack all right then we move the entire figure up Pull, pull the sides down. Oh, and let me tell you, those little tabs are going to fall off. The little guns, which are neat. So I'm just going to take them off. Just like that. You can see the robot's head, as always. So you just want to pop that back up. No big deal. Split that apart. Make sure you put the sides down, like I mentioned before. And pull the pull that up like this half right here up as you can see it's jointed right here then the arms can come down and 
then this whole rear assembly just folds down and I wish it pops in place now you can leave this like that or if you want you can slide the doors back or whatever the car whatever back whatever preference you prefer there we go Let's see if he has light piping sorta of. not from the back anyways I do like this figure, but he is so bulky. Oh, one thing is I forgot. Guns are don't fit on the fists, but the fists are molded. I do like that. So they have this little notch right here. Bam. The figure does look good. If he's not top heavy. He is. There we go. I like it. Really nice looking figure. And take this. So the Minicon. Minicon itself does roll. I'm not going to go into that too much effect. It's a weird transformation. I, I wish I. Some about the Minicon. Basically the legs fold up. Like that. So he does have leg articulation and a knee bend. Which I like. Then just snap that port right there. And make sure you move that out because both hands move simultaneously meaning that one is connected to the other which I really don't like and he has this weird <laughs> front there reminds me of ten twin twist without the uh, drill so it does have face which it looks good if not Actually, it does. Ha it doesn't move at the same time. They do have individual joints on the shoulder. But that's it. This one does have a ball joint, but really can't do much. So I'm gonna leave the thing up so it can stand. There we go. Yeah. Good luck trying to stand them. But anyways, that figure right there really nice give you a size comparison so it's slightly shorter than the modern oh I forgot about articulation really limited the head moves side to side the shoulder of course is limited from that transformation joint so it doesn't move much double jointed elbow which I really like no wrist swivel no waist swivel the hips move out and that's it you got a thigh swivel but no knee and of course the ankle and feet pivot but and you got the humongous backpack but I'm willing to forgive all that I'm willing to forgive all that simply because he looks good I mean I like him if it wasn't for that backpack he would have been awesome but as it is I can't I can't uh, I can't forgive that flaw I'm going to give him seven in this mode because the paint apps are awesome. You can even see the detail on his Autobot symbol. Alright, YouTubers, that's all I got. And I'll catch y'all next time.